My name is Claudia Nicolai, I am the web coordinator at FAO and I joined the organization in 1999 when the website was actually less than two years old. And I've been involved with FAO Digital Presence for over 20 years now. My name is Deborah Fuxa, also known to everyone as Debbie, and I'm an IT officer in the IT division, the formal name of which is the Digital FAO and Agroinformatics Division. I joined the organization, hold it, back in 1990 when PCs were being introduced for the first time and the IT network didn't even exist across FAO. I am now uh, in the Office of Communication and I'm leading the web team, but in the 25 years I've been in FAO, I've been involved in very different areas of work, including IT, information management, and knowledge management. I actually was part of the team who set up the website, and that was a mix of CSI now, so the IT division, and communication. I am currently responsible for what is known as the Global IT Operations and Digital Office Group in FAO. These are all the client-facing services, so it includes the Global IT Service Desk, the Assets and Deployment Team, and others that are, as I said before, client-facing. Throughout my years in FAO, though, I have worked in a number of different capacities, including desktop configuration work, network administration, server administration, information security, and data center management. I think there are far too many stereotypes on women in tech. I once was in a meeting where a very, very junior consultant wanted to explain to me what an Excel table is. I'm a woman, therefore, in his vision, I could not understand numbers, tables, or Excel. I guess that was the assumption, thank God, I'm not shy, so I interrupted him very bold and say, like, I do not need to be told what an Excel table is, and he wanted to go on and say, no. Let's move next. Communications is everything in my view. If you cannot communicate complex matters to others in simple terms, or if you cannot do so with authority, you will not get very far. This isn't just in tech, nor is it just for us women, of course. But as women, we have to sharpen these skills all the more to be sure that we are listened to. Different people view situations from different lenses, and this is a great asset when working on projects. Having a diverse project team, both culturally and gender-based, helps bring more lens diversity to the work on the project, resulting in a better final outcome. I think women and IT have a very special focus on what is needed versus what is cool or elegant from a programming point of view. This is my very personal experience, of course. But I was particularly good at listening to the needs, the requirements, and finding the appropriate solutions. If there is one thing that comes to mind, it is to not be afraid to speak up. Confidence is key. If you're not afraid to show you know what you are talking about, others will listen. Most women would shy away in a room full of men, because that is what you will still find in tech. But all the women I have met that have been successful in tech are those that are not afraid to be the only woman in that room and make their voice heard because they are intelligent and competent in their jobs. Do not assume that men are the only option. And when you hire women, respect them too. Unfortunately, hard work is not sufficient if we want to contribute to changing traditional gender biases. We need to demonstrate this in our behavior every day. Don't be afraid to try. Tech isn't just about numbers, and it isn't just about programming or boys playing computer games all day with a joystick in hand, even though that can be loads of fun too. Tech is about using a whole load of basic skills that women are endowed with. Collaboration, management, negotiation, communications, creativity, vision. All of these bring solutions to problems. And tech is about expanding our toolkit for everyday use and contrary to what people think. It is about finding ways to explain complex situations in simple terms in order to be understood. And then using those simple terms to develop tech solutions that can also be used by others. As women, we use a different lens to see things and can therefore 
different ideas and solutions on the table for a positive outcome. Know your value and don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to be bold. Take your space.